Hi everyone, nice to meet you. We are Giorgio Valle and Carlo Cannas, second year IT engineering students from Polytechnic of Turin. We attended the computer architecture course held by Paolo Montuschi and Luca Sterpone. As computer architecture's final project, we have deployed a version of the Pac-Man video game. Using the ISE design suite from Xilinx Tools, we have programmed the FPGA Zybo Zinc 7000. You can find more information about this product on the Xilinx official website. The entire work is available in our GitHub repository. It means that if you are interested in, you can see the VHD code or download the game and install it on your own Xilinx board. You can also find some documentation if you need a technical explanation, but remember, the code is very large. It works correctly, but it has not been optimized yet. This was a didactical experience, done in order to learn how HDL works and how to program an FPGA from scratch. Now we can start a short explanation of the project. As said before, the entire application is realized in VHDL, an hardware description language used in electronic design automation. Carlos made a joypad, in order to provide you a better game experience. You can use every joypad you want, but you have to follow some instructions in order to interface it correctly to the board. The video output protocol can be chosen between VGA and PAL, in order to adapt the video game to different types of screen. And you can pause the game, using the rightmost switch. Ghost implement different AIs. Blinky tries to reach you directly. Pinky instead tries to anticipate you. Inky decides according to the absolute Pac-Man and Blinky's map position, while Clyde just moves randomly. Their movements are computed by a dedicated internal function, according to their actual position, the target position, and allowed movements. There are several levels, each one with a different map. Reach the last one, if you can. Maps and sprites are drawn to the screen pixel by pixel, according to the video protocol we have chosen. There are several tiles stored in memory as matrices of colors, which content is loaded depending on the actual pixel to be drawn. As you can imagine, sprites have to override map content. Technically speaking, each tile has a unique identifier code. Maps and sprites are stored in memory as matrices of these IDs. Each graphical map has also a correspondent allowed movements map, used to block the Pac-Man over walls and compute ghost movement. The movement is coded as a 4-bit code, in which each of them is a flag used to indicate if you can move in a specific direction. Now you should know that this video game is a Munduski's tribute. As you will see, some graphical elements are dedicated to him. We hope you like our project. If you want extra information, please contact us or visit our project GitHub repository.